Hey guys, welcome back to some brand new Ragnarok. We are here with our Griffin P tier. <laughs> we're uh, we're actually gonna go tame another Griffin today. Hopefully, I'm I'm looking to find uh, this one was a once. Uh, what was it? Was it a 168 or 174? I think it was a 174. I'm looking to find maybe a 180 today. So we're just gonna search around, and I kind of want another one just because, like Griffins are honestly really good. And if I ever get stranded and like this one is stuck somewhere, I can go back and, and get there quick basically. Like if I ever die and the griffin is there, it's going to take me ages to get back to that spot. So it's going to be really handy if I have another griffin. Also, I want to see if I can get one with better stats than this one. I'm not sure if this one has good stats, but we're just going to we're going to try and find one anyway, okay? Uh we got a we got a red drop coming down here. Maybe we'll wait around for that. But um yeah, also maybe we can probably also take some time and show off some of the locations where they actually spawn so this is one of the spots around here there's usually quite a few um let me grab that there we go there's usually quite a few around here uh i don't see any today though <laughs> uh why am i not sprinting what i'm not sprinting oh it's because i have the thing in my hand all right anyway these are the coordinates for around this area here uh, you usually kind of find them up around here, but there's none today. That's so weird. Um, hmm. Maybe let's check further up in the hill. There's got to be some here somewhere. Like, there's usually, like, a bunch of them here. Four or five sometimes. It's crazy. I don't see any, though, today. Maybe they, like, flew off. Oh, there's some. Okay, perfect. Let's fly over here and have a look. Uh, there's, like, two of them in the forest there, I think. Oh, they're pretty cool. Looking griffins as well. Hey, 108. What's the other one? You're the 108. What's the other one there? Wait for him to fly around again. Oh, there is 18. Okay, so those are not not very great. We're gonna grab this red drop here. Uh, what do we got? Okay, pretty good. Pretty awesome. Found a bullet blueprint. Amazing. Okay. So, we should probably just kill these guys. I mean, if we don't need them. If we're not going to tame them, they're a low level. We might as well just kill them. Whereabouts are you? Now, these things must be pretty tanky. This is only level 18. There we go. It's dead. <laughs> oh, man. So, guys, don't forget to hit that like button if you found yourself enjoying this video. It does help out. Do appreciate it. Also... Today, for you guys at least, it hasn't released for me, but today ARK should be releasing officially, which is really exciting. And I was kind of curious whether or not I should be releasing a video immediately, because I don't know when that update's going to come out with the all the new stuff, so hopefully it already hasn't dropped. <laughs> oh man, if it has, then uh, I probably have videos coming out later, but if not, then uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're going to work on that later. <laughs> It hasn't, it's not Tuesday for me yet, but uh, I'm really excited. I, I seriously am. I cannot wait to get all this new stuff. It's like so exciting because it's been a while since we've gotten some new content. Um, I think the most recent thing was probably Ragnarok, and that was like two months ago. Uh, and then obviously they redid the Saber a little while ago too. Uh, what level are you? Level 30. Actually, I don't need a new Uteranus. I already have some really good ones. All right, let's... Do a little bit of a fly around here. Uh, they're not usually in the snow biome, so I'm going to head over here. Um, so, yeah, that's one of the spots where you can kind of find them. And it's usually pretty decent. Like, we only found two today, but it's usually pretty decent. And all in all, like, if you guys are playing on console and you haven't experienced the Griffin, go get one. Seriously, they are, like, they are so good. They really are. Um, and they don't require a saddle, so you can get them immediately if, like, if you're you know, good enough at actually managing to build the little trap and everything. So, like, they're not too hard to tame as well. Like, you can get them into, like, a little trap. We showed that off previously in the season. Probably not going to do that today because they're not going to take a while. It's not really going to take that long to kind of knock out with my really OP rifle that I have, so. Uh, but this is usually another spot where you'll find them kind of up and around this area. You can always see them flying around. They usually circle around. There we go. There's a dust cloud as well. We got some over here. We got a 156. All right. Let me fly over here and have a look and see if there's any more. So this is another area where you can find them around these coordinates. So it looks to be just the one griffin down here, and it's 156. So we're gonna we're gonna kill that guy. Uh, 
Where is he? He's like behind that rock now. Perfect. So yeah, you sometimes find them in the forest down here as well. Uh, they're not too hard to find. Seriously, like just look for the dust cloud. It's like it's so handy just to point them out. Uh, where is he? I can't. All right, I gotta put away my rifle. I can't see him at all. Is he stuck inside of a tree? What the hell's wrong with him? He's a, he must be stuck or something. All right, let's fly over here. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that guy. He's he's in the trees. It's gonna be super hard to hit him. Also, apparently he's dumb. So yeah, uh, we have to stop for some stam here. Bam. Okay. Damn. <laughs> Try to hit things. I'm a bad shot, apparently. Actually, I've never even checked out this little uh, ravine thing here. I'm not even sure if I have. It's kind of interesting. There's quite a lot of metal on here. I noticed this the other day when I was flying by, but I couldn't stop. What level is this Rex? Okay, not too bad. But not too good. Okay, so yeah, pretty, pretty nice area for metal as well here. And then it leads you into this massive uh, river land here. There's like this giant river that comes down pretty much from the castle that's way over there. And it comes all the way down and then it leads all the way down into a ravine here. And then it goes through the canyon area and right up to where we live. So this like, this river is kind of like the central river pretty much. But you have this amazing waterfall right here. It's fantastic. But uh, usually you can find some griffins around this area here, even flying above the river. Oh, there's some down there. Perfect. Uh, let me get to a decent spot and we'll start spyglassing. Yeah, there's some pretty cool ones down there. I think I see one of those uh, reddy, orangey ones. Is he? Are you reddish orange? What color are you guys? All right, they move pretty quick, so it's slightly difficult to uh, actually spyglass them. All right, we got level 60. What level is that one that has kind of like the orange color on them? That's the level 60. Oh, there. Oh, crap. I missed. Mm, 24. Oh, that's such a cool color, but... Uh, such a terrible level. I'm I'm seriously considering adding in the uh, Griffin Breeding mod to this server, because, like, I don't know, like, we have... We have Castles and Keeps, and we have, like, Structures Plus, and we have, like, this series is essentially every single mod on our vanilla series, but a little bit more kind of pushing the boundaries a little bit more that we wouldn't usually go with the vanilla with sprinkle series like we have the reusable mod and that's i seriously would love that on that server but i know it would not go down well with the community so i'm not gonna do that <laughs> but like i got i don't know i kind of feel like you know this is it's not strictly vanilla this so i can't hit this guy at all you can't even clip his wings apparently but uh God, I'm such a bad shot. But yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of considering adding that. Do you guys want to see that? Like, it's it's going to be something that you can't really do unless you're playing on a uh, private server. You know, you can't breed griffins normally. You need that mod. I'm so bad at shooting these guys. So, I don't know. I was kind of I was kind of considering it. It might be fun to do, but that would also render all of our griffins useless because we have to tame new ones then. So, I don't know. It could be fun. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know. Could be good. Uh, there are no very good level griffins down there, so we have to keep looking here. Uh, up around this forest here is also a great area. I never even showed the coordinates. We're around here. It's really easy to spot, honestly, guys. But uh, around these coordinates, you kind of find them. Also, there's all these beaver dams over here, which I hit up all the time. It looks like they're back. I was only over here the other day, and I got a bunch of cementing paste. Is there any more of these dams? There's like these special little dam things over here as well. No, I haven't even showed you guys this spot in ages. I am over here quite a lot, though. Oh, these dams right here are amazing for the cementing paste. Got bugs on me. But, uh, like, these little ones right here on the uh, on the waterfall, amazing. There's so much cementing paste inside of those. Also, they're easier to grab than these big beaver den things that they have. So crazy. And all the... Like, by the way, this is, this is all vanilla. Um, that's something that I think a lot of people were questioning the first time. They were like, what mod is that? And I was just like, no, it's vanilla. Like, <laughs> that's like part of the map. It's, it's so cool. The Ragnarok devs did a great job on this map. And there's like so many custom assets and everything. It's, it's just great. 
Um, you can't usually find them around here, but there is a spot. How do you get to there? I don't exactly know how you get to there, but I know the kind of path that you can go. Um, so obviously this is the castle right here. I remember, yeah, these are our bridges that we made. I remember we went all the way over here, and I don't know which hill we were on. It was either that one, that one, or that one. But there's like a really good spot where we found a couple griffins at the very start. We kind of got attacked by them too. Um, so I think it's it's either this one or this one actually. It's not that one. Let's hop over here. Okay. Which hill was it? I remember we came up. Oh, it's definitely this one. I can even see the trap. Let me check this side as well though. Okay. Any griffins? Doesn't look like it. Probably not going to be any up here as well. I've seen them up here a couple times, but not too often. Let's have a look. Oh, we got one. And there's the little trap. I think Axeman built this trap. He came back uh, soon after. Oh, that one is very cool. Oh, damn. One eight. Look at the face on that thing. It's like white. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, we're taming that one. Uh, I'm going to try and get it into this trap, though, actually. That might be a good idea. This is so convenient. Thank you, Axeman, from the past. Axeman made that. Uh, if you guys remember, like, we, we had this whole little setup here and everything. I think we left some of it here. This is all from, like, the first three episodes. And then Axeman came back, and he built up this trap and tamed him himself a griffin. Um, so, yeah, we, we got we to gotta get this guy over here. I don't know how I'm going to do it without... Uh, Shooting him with, like, my gun. <laughs> Is he going to start coming? I don't want to shoot him with the trank gun because I don't want him to start getting torpored. Hey, buddy. Is he coming? I think he's coming. Oh, yeah, he is. All right. Uh. Oh, leave me alone. Go. Okay, where's he gone? All right, I gotta run around here. Now, luckily, they have a pretty bad AOE, the wild ones, so you can kind of avoid them pretty easily. They're pretty fast, but uh, why is he not? Okay, hey, buddy. Oh, yeah, he's coming for me now. Okay, we're in. Nice. I'm gonna get on this side. Hey, buddy. Is he down already? No. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Couple more shots, and he should be down. These are shocking trank darts as well. I don't think he's going to be able to get out of here. So this is pretty simple. This is just a bunch of foundation with a bunch of pillars on them and then ceilings. Uh, he might get out though, actually. He's down. Perfect. Oh, man. Look at the face in this thing. He's just sleeping. He's sleeping with his eyes open. Oh, it's disturbing. Looks like a bird with a broken neck. <laughs> Alright, so I actually have Allosaurus Kibble. Um, I tamed up a bunch of Allosaurus the other day and just kind of prepped to... I want to get a Tapajara as well, and I believe that takes Allosaurus Kibble, so um, we can go ahead and start feeding him some of this stuff. I tamed up just a bunch of really low-level ones. The biggest part about it was the fact that like, I had to walk them pretty much all the way across the map, so that was a big pain, but... Uh, oh, oh, I forgot their Torpor Drops. Oh man, I forgot to bring some stuff. <laughs> oh, that was that's that's dumb. Okay, that was dumb on my part. Oh man. Okay, here. Let me I got to grab some of these. Okay. Let me see. How you doing, buddy? Oh god, I'm getting stuck. Let's give him those for now. Enjoy. Okay, so my best recommendation, if you're just starting off in Ragnarok and you seriously want one of these quick, go start off in the Scotland biome, which is like the Highlands, which is way over there, uh, far west side. 
So you want to start over there, get yourself a horse, and then kill a couple of sheep because a bunch of those spawn over there, and then just like cook up the mutton and then feed it to this guy. That's honestly going to be your best way to tame one. Uh, I mean, like you could probably bring a sheep with you if you can. No, you won't be able to tame a sheep really quick like that. I guess you could lasso the sheep and bring it over. I don't know, and then kill it over here when this thing is like really uh, drained of the food and everything. But yeah, I don't know. That could be an idea, but. All in all, uh, that's probably the quickest way of getting one of these things. And, like, there's a couple other spots where you'll find them, but the spots that I checked today are, like, the main spots that you will find them. Uh, but they are kind of all over the place a little bit. So it seems like he's kind of okay. He might be okay. I might not actually need to go back to and get some uh, narcotic. Although if I do, it's not really too far. My base is, like, right across that hill over there. Yeah, we might actually head back really quick. I guess I can show you guys the allosaurus. All right. Okay. So we're really close to our base from here. Uh, let me see. The canyon goes through. I think we're over here. So we want to just swoop on over. Um, so yeah, I, I tamed. I think I have three uh, three females and I got a male. And uh, it's just kind of like going to have them there for a little while. Probably end up taming some Allosaurus as like a little uh, army thing eventually. But... I just kind of wanted them as like egg layers for now, just to collect up a bunch of eggs passively. Um, you know, just sometimes it's kind of easier rather than just like making an episode out of like taming up a bunch of Allosaurus for eggs. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so we're like right over here. Gotta grab some narcotic. Also, we could probably check this wyvern nest spot here. Although I think right now there's supposed to be some sort of bug where the wyverns aren't even laying nests. Or something. Yeah, no, I, d I don't see a nest here. And I don't... Also, the little drop thing that used to be there are not there anymore. In case you guys didn't know that. There's another spot where you might find a nest. I'll probably end up getting a new ice uh, wyvern as soon as the update comes out, to be honest. Uh, oh my god. Our drops on here are ridiculous. They're kind of too ridiculous, but we can't turn them down now because we already have OP gear, so... Yeah, next time we just won't make them that OP. <laughs> uh, do we have any nests around here at all? No. But uh, yeah, I'll probably end up getting a new uh, Ice Wyvern as soon as that update actually does drop. So expect that pretty soon. I want to check out the new model. I want to see it as like a baby and everything, you know. Also, you know, a new Ice Wyvern would be kind of cool. We do have two already, but three is not too much, is it? I don't know. All right. Almost here. See just how quick you can get across the freaking map on these guys. It's amazing. All right, so I think my Alice, yeah, they're over here. And I just have my egg collector running. I uh, probably don't have any more eggs in there now, but I cleared it out just before we left. Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, now we have two Dimorph eggs, but no Alexaurus eggs yet, and no... Uh, Ankylo and everything. I seriously don't know what is with this framiness, by the way. Like, I still can't figure it out when I have my hood on. It's really framey. I think it's something to do with whatever. There's something here that is making it really framey because, like, if I look there, it's framey. If I look over here, it's not. Look back there, it's really framey. Look over here, it's like slightly framey, but it's not that framey. It's like, it's something like right here, and I don't know what it is. But when I take that away, it's fine. Like, I'm running really good frames right now. I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's so annoying. But, uh, oh, we came back for narcotic, right? Let's go grab some of that. Uh, what do I need? Water. Uh, do I have? Okay, so the volcano is erupting, by the way. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Uh, we're just going to stop down here, drop in some narcotic. And it doesn't look like he's woken. I mean, even if he had, it wouldn't have been too bad. Although, I would have lost all the kibble. Yeah, that would have been terrible, actually. Never mind. Um, he doesn't really need narcotic right now, does he? I don't know if they actually need it to, like... Uh, I just went to get some, just in case. I don't know if they actually properly fully need it. I can't remember. But uh, it's it's a little bit safer to just go back and get some, just in case. But, uh, yeah, this is going to be a perfect tame. It's going to come out as a... Um, was that a 269? Obviously, our max level on here is 180, so... Because we have difficulty 6. I keep getting asked that question as well, by by the way. 
Uh, difficulty six. Just change difficulty in the uh, in the server stuff to six. I can't remember. I don't know. I don't do this stuff very often. But uh, yeah, just change it to six. Difficulty offset or something like that. And you'll get 180 creatures. Basically, whatever number you put in there. If you put five, you'll get 150. If you put six, you'll get uh 180 it just whatever number you put in multiply that by 30 and that's what your max level will be so yeah this guy is gonna take a little while to wake up as you can see but it's gonna take probably around six or so kibble yeah around six kibble should do it so yeah i'll see you guys in a little bit okay so our good friend mr griffin here should be waking up any second and Yay! Nice. I've already taken out the rest of the kibble because usually they just start eating it. So I can't think of a really cool name for one right now, but I'll probably think of one at some point. I definitely want a nice name for this one because it is such a cool color. Look at this thing. All right. Uh, I was about to. I was thinking to myself like, oh yeah, let's take apart the trap, but this isn't even mine. <laughs> oh man, look! Look at this. This one is amazing. It's so much better than my current one, like the color wise. It's like kind of like a brown on the uh, on the back legs and the tail. It's got like white underneath the wings and it's got like a white uh, crest as well, white face. And then I think the back is like brown as well or something. Very, very nice though. Yeah, it's pretty nice. All right. All right. Let's uh, let me just test damage wise. Like how much does it do? Also, we never cheat. Oh my God. Look at that health. Dude, that's a lot of health. Interesting. Uh, we never even checked the the, uh, the stats at the start there. Usually I do that immediately. I don't see any creatures now that we can hit. Uh, don't see anything. We need something. I don't... Usually there's like stegos and stuff. Where the hell is everything? Oh, there's something. Oh, there, there's a stego. Alright, we're not going to have the speed boost. We have to do another one. We did a thousand straight off the bat. That's pretty good. Nice. Okay. Well, that's uh, <laughs> that's gonna be nice. That's gonna be really good. I don't know what I want to level on this one though. Like, let's just run back or fly back to P tier, and we'll have a look at uh, P tier stats. And just kind of compare a little bit. Oh, those Brontos right there that I could have hit. All right. So P tier has, I believe, 20k health. 20k health, uh, 2,000 stam, and then I believe I put the rest mostly into melee, and I put a little bit into weight as well. Uh, so, what have you got? You have really good weight off the bat. Oh, his melee is not so good, though. Look at that. Yeah, that melee is not great. That sucks. Hmm. That's, like, way low. Or maybe this one was just pretty high. I mean, like, he does have quite a lot of levels to go, but I don't know. Let me, let me just see. What does the health go by? We'll definitely get it to 15k, if anything. I'll take this back. All right. That, oh, he goes up by quite a bit. Let's just get some more kills here, and then we'll uh, we'll potentially figure out what we're going to level. So there's some Brontos here that we can fight. We don't have great stam, so I've got to keep that in mind. So... Let me just get another swoop going. It's kind of hard to fight the Brontos sometimes. It's best to kind of like aim for their back. You can kind of get two hits in sometimes on the Brontos. But all in all, like you don't want to run into their side like I did the first time there. Or right there. I think I hit into a rock though. No, I am keep swooping down too low. I think it's the terrain's kind of messing me up a little bit. All right, that time I swooped by perfectly. Ah, tried to hit both. Nice, got both in that time. Now we gotta land for some stam. Okay, does he have any meat? I don't have any meat on me, so gotta get him some soon. Alright, we'll just hold off on the levels for now. 
and then we'll do it in a couple minutes. It's a pity that you can't get any freaking um, explorer notes on this map. It would make leveling so much easier. Yeah, I got two hits in that time. You saw that? It's perfect. Just aim for their head and then you'll potentially get two hits. Nope. Kind of hit his tail and stop. We can probably kill him here really quick. Actually, I want to do a nosedive straight into him. Or a sky bomb. Nice. Eat the body as well. Gain some levels from that. Alright. We got one more Bronto to kill here. Nice. Okay, what is that over there, Narji? Okay. We got an Anki right here that we can fight. Damn, missed. Where's the Anki? There he is. <laughs> I couldn't even see him. Oh, hey, Aloes. That's kind of scary. Let me get over here before I'm out of stam. The Aloes are going for my Anki. Oh, man, look at all those levels that we have. Sweet. Let's heal a little bit and get our stam back. And they're coming from here, aren't they? Yep. They are. Let's get that stam back. I'll uh, I'll shoot them a little bit just so we can weaken them. I don't want to take a bunch of damage from these stupid aloes. Uh, let me just put them on passive for now. Do you want to fall down here as well? That one's okay. Dude, stop moving. Stay still. Alright, we got another one over here. Ah, oh, it's so hard to see. Stop moving! <laughs> he just keeps moving. Oh man, alright, that's probably good for now. We only got two of them, but it's okay. We should be able to take out the alpha here pretty quick. We got one of them anyway. Yeah, we can just stay here and fight. They're gonna die pretty quick. All Saurus brains. How is he still alpha? There's no more. Usually there has to be more creatures for them to be alpha, right? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Um, we got 11, 11 levels. Man, I wish we got better melee. That sucks. I mean, he does a lot of damage anyway, but just not as much as our other ones, so... I don't know if it's much of a trade-off. Hmm. Did they kill the Yankee? I think they did. No. The Yankee's dead. Alright. <laughs> Wrecked. Alright, this little canyon down here, there's always a bunch of, like, Diplos and T-Rexes and Brontos and stuff. Let's go over here. This isn't really a canyon, by the way. <laughs> Alright, any Brontos? Hey, there we go. Alright, we gotta get more of a speed boost before we do anything. We got a T-Rex over there. Oh, this is gonna be crazy. Ooh. <laughs> you see that? That is crazy. We just... We got like four hits in. There is Aloes, though, I think. Or something. No, that's a T-Rex that they're fighting. In the galley, no. Oh, no, there are Aloes. I don't want those T-Rexes and stuff. Oh crap, they're gonna kill the Brontos. No. I'm bleeding everywhere. Alright. Let me get one of these in. Alright, we killed a Parasaur. And something. We hit something in the air as well, apparently. Hey, we got that T-Rex almost. Die. Die, man. Dude. All right, we gotta fly. All right, we gotta heal and get stand back. Thirteen levels so far.
Hey, 162. Nice. Let's eat these bodies. Unfortunately, they ate all the Brontos, but there are quite a few over here that we can kill. Got an aloe. Got one more to kill. And that T-Rex. Stop beating your friend, man. You're crazy. Alright. There we go. He's dead. So many Apex reward things. Alright, we got a T-Rex to deal with now. A little you. 162 as well. Wow. Just two 162s chilling here. Alrighty. Oh, we hit him in the face. It made me stop. Could probably get the last swoop in and kill him. Nice. Got him. Alright. Oh man, we got 20 levels. Let's see what we can do here. Okay. I could probably just put a couple more in. I don't know. Oh, stamina doesn't go by a whole lot. Get that up to 1500 at least. Because I don't want to have to keep stopping. Um, yeah, this one's just not as good as our original one. Maybe let's go for more of a tanky fighter on this one. Because I don't feel like putting a whole lot of levels into melee when it's seriously not going to go up by more than what our other one is currently. We'll just go for like a tanky fighter. Probably level up some more stam as well. Oh, 180. Huh. Alright. Oh, man. So, that's probably going to be it for today, guys. Um, this is the Griffin. You know, we're going to get some more leveling done eventually here. Probably going to maybe go for like 30k health, I'd say. And uh, I'll probably kill all these Brontos and everything. But that is it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you guys want to see more, subscribe. And also, there's probably going to be a bunch of update videos dropping today if everything went to plan. So uh, do hit that subscribe and notification button and all that good stuff. I'll see you next time.